I now have Christmas tree ornaments available on my Etsy store. They are handmade double-sided felt ornaments. Therefore, put them on your tree. They fall down. They're not going to break. And there are Mickey Mouse themed ones as well. Link in description. Just before we start the video, I am recovering from a cold. So if I sound a bit weird or different, that's why. I'm really sorry. In the spirit of Izzy's childhood nostalgia deep dives, I decided to draw on my own memories of days gone by and have a crack at discussing one of my own favourite toy lines, Sylvanian Families. My Canadian and American friends may know them as Calico Critters due to a reintroduced line under a new name in those respective countries, but I digress. Sylvanian Families, or I'm gonna butcher this, Shirubania Fumuri, is a line of collectible anthropomorphic animal figures produced by Japanese gaming company Epoch. 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 First released in 1985. I'll be going over these lines via the Japanese release dates for simplicity, as international release dates can have gaps between 1 to 20 plus years, such as the Tailbury family with its 1988 Japanese debut, but they wouldn't reach the UK until 2009, which is 21 years later. So not all of the release dates will be internationally applicable. There will be products that were released in Japan that wouldn't be released in the UK for several more years. However, there also are products in the UK that were not released in Japan. If I say a date and I don't specify where it's from, you can assume that was the original Japanese release date. And if I specify that something was released in Japan or in the UK or is Japanese only or UK only, you can assume it was only ever released in said country. I hope we're all clear on that. Hope that makes sense. I will also be demonstrating my dedication by listing every single family as we delve into the history, which by 2021 is a lot. A big shout out to the Sylvanian Families Fandom Wiki, which is where I got all of the release dates information, as well as sylvanianfamiliesuk.weebly. They share their own collection on their website, which is where I got a lot of the photos from. So you can go check out their collection on their website. The link will be in the description. In 1985, Sylvanian Families kicked off with nine families. The Babblebrooks, Grey Rabbit, Timbertops, Brown Bear, Wildwoods, Brown Rabbit, Evergreens, Grey Bear, Thistlethorns, Grey Mouse, Muckburrows, Mole, Slydales, Fox, Oakwoods, Squirrels, and a family only ever released in Japan, the Tanuki family. The first houses and playsets were made of porcelain and the furniture of wood, but later releases would change these materials to plastic and metal. The original tagline was also very different. Pleasant Friends of the Forest Epoch Collection Animal Toy Sylvanian Families. I won't be reading it in Japanese because I think that would constitute a hate crime for my terrible pronunciation. But it was anyway later changed to Sylvanian, meaning of the forest, from the Roman god Sylvanus, which is just as well as the former was a bit of a mouthful. All of these families came in a nuclear family set of four, a mother, father, son and daughter. Later down the line, grandparents and baby figures were also released. Each character had their own name, birthday and personal backstory, even down to personalities and jobs. In 1986, three more families were introduced. The Waters, Beaver, Butterglove, Ivory Rabbit and Chestnut, Raccoon. In 1987, a 13-episode animated series was aired, produced by DIC Animation City and TMS Entertainment. The show proved to be popular, particularly in the UK and Spain. I don't know why those two countries, but if you ever have a question, what do the UK and Spain have in common? Well, they really enjoyed the animated series of Sylvanian families. The UK subsidiary of Tomy obtained exclusive rights in 1987, allowing them to bring Sylvanian families into the UK market where it quickly became a bestseller. This year would also mark a notable accomplishment for Sylvanian families, winning the British Association of Toy Retailers Toy of the Year Award, which would be won again twice. Sylvanian families won the award three years straight, in 1987, 1988, and 1989. 
Still in 1987, the Bouquet Skunk family debuted, and fans hailing from Sylvanian family's home country were treated to four Japan-only families that also happened to be the first domesticated non-forest-dwelling animals aside from the thistlethorn mouse family. Ivory dog, ivory cat, brown dog and grey cat. This was the first time popular pet animals were introduced into the Sylvanian family's universe, as the mouse family weren't considered as traditional pets, and may still not be. In 2012, 8 million people in the UK owned one or more dogs, and the same amount owned one or more cats, whereas less than 100,000 owned one or more mice. However, the slight divergence from conventional forest animals did not put a dent in the line's success even when these species were released in other families internationally. Unlike other toy lines such as Littlest Pet Shop, new figures in Sylvanian families don't generally have design changes and the dogs and cats fit right into the cottage core aesthetic. Also in 1987, the UK Sylvanian family lovers would be given the Bright Eyes Rabbit family. In 1988, seven more families were released, bringing the total to 25 individual sets. These were the Taubries, Otcher Dog, Farthing, Dog, and Puddleford, Duck. In Japan, the Cream Cat, Chestnut Dog, and Goat families were introduced, whereas the UK and US were given the Tree Fellows, a family of owls. 1989 was a year exclusively consistent of US slash UK releases the Catwoods, cat, and Foresters, dog, coming to the UK, whereas the Underwoods, badger, and Corntops, spotted rabbits, became available in both the US and the UK. In a similar fashion, the next year, 1990, the Honey Bear family were released in the UK and US, although they are named the Huntingtons in America. The Snow Warren rabbit family was also brought out, but only in the UK. In 1991, there were numerous country-based exclusive releases. The Teardrop Bear family in Japan, the Solitaires, Siamese Cat, Merryweathers, Cat and Brambles, Hedgehog in the United Kingdom. To add, this year also brought about the first mistake in my opinion, the UK and US Bullrush Frog family. While still in the same style as every other family, something unnerves me about this set possibly the uncharacteristic pronounced lower face. It's not a new design that deviates drastically from existing ones, nor do they feel out of place in a forest setting, but then again they stand out from the others and not necessarily in a good way. Perhaps amphibians are not really suited to the soft fluffy vibes, but that's just me. In 1992, two UK releases came out, the Bamboos, Panda, and the Marmalade Bear. A US and UK family was also introduced, the Nettlefields, a goat family. While I do love pandas, much like the Bullrush family, they feel out of place. They aren't as different as the frogs were when compared to existing products, especially when compared to bear designs, but I don't know, I'm not totally buying it as part of the Sylvanian family's universe. The first big distributor change occurred in 1993. Tomy lost the right to the brand name in the USA and Canada, and so the line's name was later revised to Calico Critters of Cloverleaf Corners, now simply Calico Critters, distributed by Epoch Everlasting Play in those countries. Five more families would emerge that same year. The Furbanks, Squirrel, Hazelwoods, Dormouse, Van Dykes, Otter, Truffles, Wild Boar, and Sea Dogs, Tan Dog, with the third and fourth being UK and US releases, and the last being UK only. 1994, and we're nearly at 50 families, so I hope you're still with me. Two UK releases came about this year, the Simpkins, Cat, and Billabongs, Koala. The Billabongs give me the same vibe as the pandas, I'm not gonna lie. Again, it's not drastically different to the other bear sets, much like the pandas. I just feel like this cottage core aesthetic, it doesn't really work with koalas and pandas. 1995 and four more are released. The Mulberry's Raccoon, Dappledorn, Rabbit, and Renard's Fox both of the latter being UK only, as well as the Meadows, Mouse, which was UK and US only. 
Only two more came out from 1996, the Whiskers, Cat, and Norwood's, Mouse, followed by the Beagles, Dog, Mosses, Reindeer, and Waddlington's, Duck families, the last two being only UK releases. By the late 1990s, Sylvanian families had begun to decline and was discontinued in the UK. Only two more families were released this decade, the Petites, Bear, in 1998, and the Cottontails, Rabbit, in 1999. Fortunately, Flair reintroduced Sylvanian families in the latter year. 1999 also saw the 15th anniversary in Japan, celebrated by opening a themed restaurant, Sylvanian Forest Kitchen, that served food as well as merchandise. The establishment shut down in 2011 after 12 years of service. We are now heading into the 2000s, 57 families strong, provided that I have counted them correctly. There was a three-year gap between releases until 2002. This year, the Honey Fox Slydales, not to be confused with the previous Slydales, Periwinkles, Milk Rabbit and Kenilworth's Dalmatian families all made their first appearances, as well as the UK-only McCavity's Cat and Bearberry sets. Bearberry being bears, obviously. The Maces, City Mouse, Huckleberries, Hound Dog and Sparkles, Pink Rabbit families were also released. The UK side also released the Plumes, Owl and Fishers, Cat Lines. 2004 Japan celebrated Sylvanian family's 20th anniversary in style, Epoch announcing the construction of a new attraction at Grimpa theme park called Sylvanian Gardens. They also released the Walnuts, a squirrel family for the occasion. As well as this, Japan's production introduced the Cowby Bear family, whereas the UK brought forth the Porridges, a set of marmalade bears. Sylvanian Family's musical, The Large Commotion Eve Party, was the first live event the line produced, taking place at the, I'm so sorry Japan, Gekidan Kogumaza Theatre in 2005. The show was later made available on DVD in 2016. The same year as the live show, two new families debuted, The Dales, Sheep, and in the UK, The Hawthorns, White Mouse. Characters from Sylvanian families were chosen as mascots for the National Federation of Workers and Consumers in 2006. As well as this, more families came out. The Keats, Cream Cat, Nonohanas, Rabbit in Japan, and the Hamiltons, Hamster in the UK. In 2007, Epoch teamed up with Itachu, Nippon Columbia, and Shogakunin to produce a 3D CGI OVA, original video animation. All three episodes were released in June. Epoch stated more were planned, but for unknown reasons were never released. As well as this, like each year mentioned in this video, more families were released. The Grunts, Pig, Chocolates, Chocolate Rabbit, and Dowerty's Chiffon Dog came out, accompanied by the McWalkies, West Highland Terrier, De Berg's, Penguin, Bassett's, Dog, Cheshire's, Cat, Pettifer's, Guinea Pig, and Patches, Dog, in the UK. I actually quite like the grunts. The pig details are subtle, unlike the previous bullfrogs. I think the understated aspects really help allow the family to slot into the aesthetic. The Pettifer's, on the other hand, kind of make me feel like they want to eat my soul. Something is off. As for the de Bergs, it has the same issue as other family sets I have problems with. It just doesn't fit and I'm not really feeling it. 2008 brought on even more families. The Marlowe's, Tuxedo Cat and Columbus's, Seabreeze Rabbit. In the UK, there were five more. The Clearwater's, Vol, Perseus's, Persian Cat, Hazelnut's, Dormouse, Blackberry's, Spotted Rabbit and the Apple Blossom's grey squirrel. Finally, five years after its announcement, the Sylvania Gardens opened in Grimpa in 2009, just in time for the 25th anniversary. The attraction included life-size replicas of the line's houses and buildings and a museum with an exhibit on the toy's history. Nine more families were released, the Buckley's Red Deer, Fielding's Field Mouse and the Go Lightly's Silk Cat. For the first time in a long while, there are a significant amount of Japan-only releases. The Soyokazis, Cat, Hanazono's, 
Mormorias and Lavender, or Rabbit. Two came to the UK, the Barkers, Golden Labrador, and Chocolate Dalmatians. Two more live stage musicals were performed in 2010, Sylvanian Family's Exciting Musical and Sylvanian Family's Exciting Stage. I think 2010 is my least favourite year for releases because it brought about The Spotters, Meerkat, Buttercups, Frisian Cow, Robinsons, Red Panda, and Springers, Kangaroo. The Elephant Family, known as The Trunks, were also released in the UK and US. I only like the Robinsons. The others, again, fall into the not really feeling the vibe category. 2011. Here on out, it's mostly just more releases, so bear with me. I'll save my thoughts from now on on particular sets until the end, where I'll show a top and bottom five. As you can probably already guess my tastes, and it will become way too repetitive. This year we have the Darwins, Monkey and Lopez, Chihuahua families, as well as the Beauforts, Polar Bear and Hunter Smith's Chocolate Labrador in the UK. Moving on to 2012, we meet the Outbacks, Koala, Harvey's, Grey Cat and Neptune's, Sea Otter. Additionally, the De Pembroke's, Corgi, Fletcher's, Border Collie, Hopkins, Champagne Rabbit and Beaumont, Ginger Cat came to the UK. In 2013, Flair confirmed that the rights to Sylvanian families would now be transferred to the newly formed Epoch UK. Five more sets were released. The Woodbrooks, Beaver, Goldbacks, Hamster, Brightfields, Goat, Dalmatians and Monkeys, the last two being Japan only. 2014 brought four different UK releases. The Osbournes, Bear, Sandys, Striped Cat, Fenton's, Yellow Labrador, and Polaris's, Polar Bear. 2015, phew, don't worry guys, we're getting there. The Teaks, Persian Cat, and Hedgehog families are released. Only two families came out in the next couple of years. The Cake Breads, Toy Poodle, in 2016, and the Maples, Cat, in 2017. The Marshmallows, Mouse, Woolies, Alpaca, Splashies, Otter, and Grand's lion sets are introduced. 2019, the penultimate year of hell, still managed to yield more families for the Sylvanian families verse. The Persians, Cat, Bubblebrooks, Elephant, Caramels, Dog, Sunnies, Rabbit, Polars, Bear, Florals, Cat, and the Hoppers, Kangaroo, the last four being UK releases. Not even a panorama could stop Sylvanian family's 35th anniversary. A poll was run to decide which discontinued family should be brought back, and the Duck family won. Furthermore, six more families debuted. The Midnight's, Cat, Pookie's, Panda, Marguerite's, Rabbit, Sea Breeze's, Rabbit, Snuggly's, Sloth, and Snow's, Rabbit. Current year, finally. The Huskies, Dog and Paddleton's, a rename of the previous Puddleton Duck family that had won the poll the previous year, came out. There were also a number of Japan based releases The High Branches, Giraffe, Dales, Sheep, Mainly's, Pony, Brightfields, Goat, Shiba Inu, Dog, and Beaver families. And the last of all, the Treetops UK Koala family, which has an unknown release date. If my counting is correct, that should be about 115 families. If you're still with me, which congrats and thanks if you are, you've just listened to me talk about all of the families and some key points of history over the last 20 minutes. We're in the home stretch of this video, I absolutely promise you we are getting there if you're sick of me talking about Sylvanian families. Here I'm going to talk about my top five and bottom five families. My top five families are as follows in no particular order. The Shiba Inus, Dog Family. The Buckleys, Red Deer Family. Nono Hannas, Rabbit Family. The Calbees, Bear Family. And Whiskers, Cat Family. Before I get into the bottom five, I will say, whilst recording this video and looking at certain families more, they have grown on me. Like the Koala Families and the Panda Families, while I still don't feel like they necessarily fit the theme, 
I'm used to them now after looking through all of the families and listing them for this video. They're all right, they're not bad. I don't mind them anymore. As well as this, it was a lot harder to find a bottom five than it was a top five, which gives credit to the Sylvanian family's brand with their consistent quality. The family that I like the least has to be the Mainleys because it looks like they've just put a wig on them. It, it's strange, they're unnerving and I don't like them and they're pretty much joint with the Borush Frog family. Again, unnerving, creepy, really didn't like them. The last three of the bottom five are families that I'm just not keen on. I don't necessarily dislike them, but they're not vibing with me either. And these are the High Branch Giraffe family, the Darwin Monkey family, and the Bubblebrook Elephant family. They're okay. They're not as bad as the Mainleys and the Borishes, which is ironic because those two actually fit the forest cottage theme, whereas these three don't whatsoever but I still dislike those two rather than the latter three. Alongside the 155 families, there have been countless costume and furniture sets as well as buildings. I'm not going to go into each individual costume or furniture set and building because this video is already 20 minutes long. I will, however, talk about my favourites. My favourite costumes include any kimono set they've ever released, they are simply adorable, and I really like the Halloween night parade. Just look at those little costumes. The little ghostie is so cute. I really like the fairy tale friends sets and the 1980s Japan only fairy sets. I think they're quite sweet as well. Best furniture sets include the Darkwood bedroom set, the 20th anniversary Japanese room set. Seriously, the Japanese only releases or limited edition Japanese releases are so cute, I, I can't. As well as this, any nursery play sets for the babies, they're so sweet and tiny. And the best buildings are the Red Roof Country Home, the Deluxe Celebration Home, and the Cedar Terrace. How do you pronounce that? Cedar? Cheetah? Cheddar? I'm going with Cedar. Cedar Terrace. And also the canal boat, which I can confirm does in fact float because I have the canal boat and I used to put it out on my pond. It was really cute. I like that canal boat. I want to thank everybody who watched this video, especially to the end, because it is so long and a lot of it is just listing all of the families and all of the products sold. If you got to this part in the video, tell me down below which is your favourite family or what was the first family that you ever got if you ever had a Sylvanian family set or Calico Critters set. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Brother, dad, and mother. Sylvanian families each sold separately.